Hi everyone, this is Cindy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm talking about a pair of leopard jeans that I've recently bought from Ghani. I'm sure you have watched my unboxing video. If you haven't, please watch it here. I always love a leopard item, which you can see from my how to wear a leopard video and uh, up, put it up here so you can watch it if you haven't. Uh, back to the leopard jeans. And I just find it that leopard is always a so-called trend that is always lingering and it's always blow up like every 10 years at a time and uh, because I haven't got any pair of leopard trousers or leopard jeans uh, so I searched for a while and then this pair of from Danny popped up on my feed and I saw a girl wearing it on Instagram oh it looks so flattering on her so I thought let's invest on this and so I ordered myself a size 30 and went into the floral store in Covent Garden picked it up and tried it on in the store I was so over the moon with it so it's definitely a keeper because I love it so much and uh, I have created loads of outfits with it so I would like to share them with you please sit tight I'm sure you will enjoy this leopard outfit journey with me subscribe to my channel if you haven't to give my video a like with this pair of leopard jeans I can wear it from the summer to the winter all year round so the first outfit is that I worn this jeans with a little white top and which you can see on the screen that is a little white top you can wear this with boots pumps merry jeans and uh, i have even created a outfit wearing red merry jean shoes with it with red bag so there's the loads of ways to miss a match and also it's just quite pretty to wear this in the summer with white blouse and i think it would also work with a black blouse and uh, the choices would be endless the next series of outfits are with neutral like brown toned items and are paired with a brown blazer which those people have it in their wardrobe and with a brown suede bag and with a pair of brown boots and with a white t-shirt underneath because leopard has three color elements in there it is black white and brown so you can wear with any colors from these three categories therefore is very easy to interchange to adapt with brown bag white bag black bag brown shoes white shoes black shoes so black t-shirt white t-shirt maybe a brown t-shirt there's just loads loads of combinations to wear with and moving on the next few outfits that i've created is wearing a little short a black tweedy blazer or tweedy jacket and uh, this time I used black accessories and like a black bag with my Gucci sling back pumps with pointed toe. So it, it appears in so many of my OOTDs recently. I just love this pair of shoes because so versatile, it's a forever piece. So I don't really feel guilty of investing in this pair of shoes and it's quite plain there's no much logos on it so it would go with leopard because leopard is a busy print of itself you don't want something that is too busy to clashing with it or unless i did that crazy head to toe leopard with eight items which you can see on the screen here yeah but it just play with it and you know at the end of the day dressing up is fun and how you like it just go for it so you can see there's loads of ways to wear it and also i have this goldish very pale gold leather jacket years ago that my cousin gave it to me i rarely wear it because i don't really like leather jackets i like little furry fluffy jacket but leather jacket is never my thing but I've created an outfit with, with these leopard jeans and I think it looks together so I'll pop it up on the screen so you can see and then I have bought a little short beigey jacket from Zara in August actually when I got my leopard Mary jeans I didn't include it in the unboxing because it's quite a while ago and I forgot about it but when I was doing my outfits and then I thought oh yeah this can be worn with the leopard jeans so still the same white t-shirt underneath and then I paired it with, with a pair of brown suede boots and with this time with a brown bucket bag and also I have this house cardigan is in grey and I've just hoved over it and then it still it works the next one moving on is a outfit that i've created 
with my favorite waistcoat from Zara so it also works when the weather is a bit cool for a cool summer evening you wear a white t-shirt during the day and just hop over that little waistcoat over it for the evening to keep yourself warm but also looks quite stylish and cool and uh, moving on and I have created some more outfits with this um, grey or beige a YouTube cardigan and with the same black pumps with some sweetie little bag and also I used my little Etta black bag it also works and also this outfit works with my cos a burgundy bag so you can see that leopard goes with so many things because people feel like oh my god it's so scary such a scary print actually it goes with so many things and then moving on I hovered over a grey jumper and just tied it up like a scarf over the t-shirt and with the same black pumps and with the black bag from Etta that I got from Japan and then for the cooler days the same basics I put the grey jumper over the white t-shirt and then this time I added a grey blazer with the outfit you can see that on the screen that it still should work so I quite like this cool and yet elegant but smart casual and uh, so many different elements in it but it all ties together it works and uh, or take the jumper off just wear the blazer over the white t-shirt it also works this time I just paired it with the burgundy cost bag. The next one is my new jumper that I've got from Uniqlo. It's a burgundy, it's reddish burgundy. It's not an Ancora red, but it's slightly darker than Ancora red, but still it's a pretty color. It's the Uniqlo Fine Neat collection. So this time I paired it with a burgundy bag and still with the white t-shirt underneath and with the black pumps so it works and also and uh, i can also throw on the gray gray blazer onto the uh, burgundy jumper still using the same bag and it works the next set of outfits is with a uh, blue shirt and still with the white t-shirt underneath so i'm just using that as a base you can see that this is works perfectly for layering so i this time worn the blue shirt and a grey cardigan and also there's another way of wearing it is that just wear a beigey ecru white jumper tie it up and put it over the shoulder tie it up at the front it looks quite casual so that's another look and uh, also can wear the um, grey blazer from early outfits and just put that over the shirt and can wear that with the um, burgundy bag so this also works and or if you want to add some more layering and you can put that grey cardigan over the jacket and the blazer so creates another yet yeah, chilled and cool but sophisticated look with the whole thing and uh, finally in the winter I can wear a black jumper with the uh, put jeans so I can wear the uh, black jumper and uh, a black blazer so to create another look or a black bomber jacket and then if I'm feeling a little bit cooler and then I can put a beigey pale uh, jumper through over the shoulder ties it like uh, as a scarf just adding some more element using a brown bag and uh, or maybe an ecru bag and from Louis Vuitton I used the one from Louis Vuitton or just put a blazer over the shoulder so there are just endless combinations with this whole look so you can see that uh, all the items that are quite in basic colors you can either wear a brown boots white boots black boots and a white shoes or just in any of those three color combinations you can wear with gray you can wear it with red you can wear it with burgundy you can see and with also a blue shirt so it all works oh yeah there's some other outfits that i've created is the um, white boots with a little white top with the jeans and wearing it with my Loi Wei uh, Raffia basket bag so that also work in the summer
There are about 20 outfits in this whole collection, so... I hope you've enjoyed the old outfits and my narratives and sharing my way on how to wear leopard jeans. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Give my video a like and I see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye bye.